Super Bowl, Valentine's, and Mardi Gras all within a few days of each other. Who decided this was a good idea? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole, if you're new. Thanks so much for clicking on this weekly grocery haul. And first off, let me say before we get started, you are watching this on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to each of you. Happy Valloween to my spooky bees out there. Look at my Black Star shirt that came in yesterday. I absolutely love it, it has stew on it. If you know, you know, had, had to represent on Valloween. <laughs> uh, I know I'm crazy, but I absolutely love it. We went to a million stores this week. This is a huge, massive haul. I know you guys love these. We went to Rouse's, which is a local grocery store for me because of Mardi Gras, King Cake. We had to go into Dollar Tree to get some essentials for Super Bowl, so I usually don't throw in Dollar Tree hauls on these grocery hauls. But I have a small one to share with y'all. We did Aldi, of course. Where else did we go? We went to Dollar General, the boys' birthday party is this week. I mean, there's just so many things. It's like one day, the next day, one day, the next day. It's back, back, back. It is crazy right now. The boys are off of school all week. I've mentioned in the video a hundred times, so take a shot or do a push up every time I say the boys are off of school. Did a Walmart pickup. I mean, we just went everywhere. So let me take you down to the counter, show you what we got this week to try to tide us over. And I say tide us over because it's now Wednesday. I bought all this stuff like last Thursday and Friday and we're already out of food already. So if you like the grocery hauls, stick around. Let me take it to the counter and show you what we got for all the things this week. First stop this week, a place we usually don't go for the grocery hauls, Dollar General. Now we have a Dollar General market by us right down the street which has like a grocery store in it basically it's super nice if you've watched my fit mom vlogs i've brought y'all in store before and y'all rant and rave about it all the time we are lucky i got some bananas that's what i really went in there before because i don't have any i didn't pick any up in my grocery haul the ones we had trey accidentally knocked over and they bruised and they got all black and nasty. So we went through them a little bit faster because I didn't use all of them is what I'm saying. The cuties, like, can y'all believe the price on this? $1.95 for a two pound bag. I just spent like almost $4, what was it, a couple weeks ago for the same cuties brand bag at Walmart. It's crazy the price difference. Walmart has lost their mind on some things, I will say. And the boys flew through these. So I went ahead and got another one since they were so cheap while I was there. I got some water talk supplies. The Dollar General is the only place I can get the Tang, and I like to do this with the Nerds Cherry. It tastes like a fruit roll up, if you're wondering. It's so good, and it's cheapest there. Also cheapest there are these regular water flavor enhancers. They're a dollar versus Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five. And I'm low on the ocean water is another favorite of mine from Sonic. Another thing that my Dollar General has, and the only other place I can find it is at Target. If you have a Costco check there they usually carry these are the tyson blackened chicken breast strips and did i need these necessarily this week no but sometimes on my rest days i like to switch up what i'm eating and just whatever i'm feeling and i've been loving this with cottage cheese and a little bit of Velveeta shreds, so good. And I love these on anything, you guys know. 110 calories and 20 grams of protein, and they're the same price as Target, so it's right down the street. And then I got candy wasted. If y'all watch my Fit Mom vlogs, I'm gonna be taking you with me for the boys' birthday party. They are doing a fishing theme, and I'm making like mini tackle box goodie bags. Oh my gosh, I saw it on Pinterest, and I was like, that is gonna be so freaking cute. And it was so much cheaper to get this candy at Dollar General versus Dollar Tree and Walmart. First off, Walmart wanted like $3 for the frogs and Dollar Tree has these for $1.25. These were a buck at Dollar General. So I got two of the little frogs to go in the tackle boxes. Of course, we had to get Swedish fish to go in the tackle boxes and I did the price per ounce. Even the bigger bags were more expensive than these little bags. This was the better bang for your buck, believe it or not. Sometimes buying in bulk isn't the cheapest. You gotta check that little tag for the, like the ounces, whatever. So I got four of these 3.6 Swedish fish ones. These were a dollar each versus a dollar 25 at Dollar Tree and at Walmart, they were like million dollars, so save there. And then I got just their brand of the gummy worms. The regular ones were a dollar and they were an ounce extra than the Haribo. The Haribo was only four ounces. These were five ounces for the same price. Uh, look, I'm trying to be economically friendly over here from my pocketbook. Sour neon gummy worms, like the trolley knockoff, they were also five ounces versus the other name brand one for the same price. 
So those were all a dollar. So if you need candy is what I'm saying, Dollar General seems to be the cheapest place I have found for that. I can't wait to make those tackle boxes. Make sure your notification bell is clicked if you wanna see how those come out. I know a lot of times I mention things on these grocery hauls and y'all wanna see it watch the vlogs. That's everything from Dollar General. Um, probably all of these Next should be Next up, I went into our big Walmart. I actually went inside. And let me tell you, when you start looking at the things on the shelf versus what's available in the pickup, it's insane how many more options of things there are inside of Walmart, I will just say. And look, I could have been in there hours looking because I only do the pickup, but I didn't have time for that. $19.24 is what you see in front of you. Oh my goodness. So I wanted to get the, these crackers specifically are the ones the boys like. They have that trio combo that y'all saw me get, but I wanted to get like larger quantities of each one and they weren't offering this in the pickup at our little Walmart. So when I went to see if they had them, they did. So I got the big box of the grilled cheese crackers, the cream cheese and chive and the peanut butter and honey. This will last a long time, but it's just been the boys go to afternoon snack. They are loving it and it's easy and it's not terrible. You know what I mean? So why not? I mentioned to you guys, if you've never tried these peanut butter and honey ones and you can fit it in your macros, they are fired. So for Waylon's class, I mean, his teacher told me like the day before she needed this because Mardi Gras and Valentine's Day are back to back for us. So they're off next week. So I didn't think they were gonna exchange anything. Surprise girl. No, we're gonna do it the week before. <laughs> we're gonna do it the week before, but give you a day's notice. So they were, they didn't have many options is what I'm trying to say, but this is just fine. It's 20 Tootsie Roll pops and cards plus a teacher card. So there you go. And it was like under $4, so I'm here for it. It looks pretty cute as far as all the different designs and you can scan this QR code and play some kind of game, so fun. Trey's class isn't doing Valentine's, but I asked her if they were doing any activities and she said they're doing some kind of like math activity that requires moon pies. Now, if you're local and you go to parades, they're notorious for throwing moon pies around here. I know, and people either love a moon pie or you hate a moon pie. My daddy loves a moon pie. I've never been a fan of moon pies. However, the macros aren't bad on them though. So <laughs> if you're in a cut and you're like, damn, I want a moon pie. These are mini ones, 110 calories. This was the last box on the shelf is why I'm telling you all that information. I could not find, I went up and down that aisle probably 10 times and this one was like at the very top and behind a box, like they missed it. Whoever was buying these for parades, they missed this one, but I got it for Trey's class and she was so happy because she said she's been to like four stores and she couldn't find them. So now they get to do their activity. Then instead of buying the big Alani New Cherry Twist Energy Drink at Sam's Club, I've been on the hunt for one to try. Everybody's been saying they're great and I saw them up by the checkout, so I went ahead and threw one of those in cart just to give it a go. I don't do the energy drinks that often, but I like to have them on hand for when the urge strikes, you know what I mean? So this was right under $20. Next up, Aldi, we spent 120 bucks basically for what you see here, but $24 of that was something towards Wayland's birthday present, okay? So take that out of the equation, it would have been less than 100 bucks. And we did get a lot of proteins and always the produce is why I love Aldi so much. So I got a three pack of romaine. I'm surprised at the price at this. However, they all look pretty trashy. This one looks good, but I dug for probably like five minutes until I found one that didn't look like total trash. So I got that because we have been loving a side salad as a side. It's just something really quick and easy. And I've been craving salad. Don't ask why. I don't know. Maybe because I haven't had it in forever. And now we're making up lost time. I got a French baguette. Y'all know the drill. This is just her sides are making sandwiches. Love it. And the price is right. Got a package of the raisin cinnamon swirl bread. I have this on plan. And I mentioned the boys are off a whole week for Mardi Gras. So a lot of things you're seeing is because I know they're going to be home and, and eating more versus when they're at school. And I know Trey likes it too. I did get a bag of the mini avocados. I've been loving the avocados lately. And I went through that entire bag I bought last week. So I had to re up on that because I have it on plan again. I think I'm making like avocado cottage cheese sourdough toast with the egg. Y'all know the combo. It's one of my favorites. And I haven't had it in a hot second. We're doing some stuff for Super Bowl weekend. We're doing something Saturday and then we're doing something for Super Bowl Sunday. And Waylon specifically said, Mom, I want a fruit tray he said specifically red grapes not green mom and strawberries so here we go and they are like ginormous i don't know if y'all can tell how big these freaking grapes are they are huge but they feel like crisp and delicious and i'm more of a green grape fan so is trey but being that they're like that i think they're gonna be bomb coming down here i got some of these nature's delight miniature potatoes have y'all seen the smash potatoes that they make in the air fryer they look like 
hash brown patties. I don't know, they look freaking delicious. And I have that on plan for a side next week. And instead of getting the little potato company at Walmart, these were like 20 cents cheaper to do it this way for the same size. So I'm excited to try that out in the air fryer. Stay tuned, I'll probably be in a Fit Mom vlog. Got a container of the whipped dairy topping, like whipped cream. I haven't hauled whipped cream in a hot second. However, Waylon, speaking of him, he has been loving chocolate milk with whipped cream for a dessert like before he goes to sleep and look y'all know about the fair life chocolate milk so i'm like okay get the protein in get a little fun in but he's going through all my damn whipped topping is what i'm saying i use it for my protein coffee and we're almost out so i got that for us i guess two containers of the cinnamon rolls hashtag they're off a whole week that's what that's for i got a plain container of non-fat greek yogurt to make my yogurt dressing i'm pretty sure and maybe something else i have on plan but i have a little bit but I don't think I have enough or I needed to get a fresh one is what I'm saying. And then I did get another container of the Daisy Low Fat 2% Cottage Cheese. They still have it at Aldi. I'm here for it. It is cheaper there than it is at Walmart. And again, I have that on plan for breakfast next week. Got two containers of berries and they didn't scan. They were like, we have a new brand and we get a new brand. They don't scan right, but it worked out fine. But what I'm saying is we got a different brand and they looked nice because the ones last week were pretty trashy, I'll have to say. But Trey ate them. He always eats the fruit quick. So it goes pretty fast. So it's okay i did get one container of the blueberries they were on sale this week look at them coming down y'all finally we have hopes that things that are million dollar will finally come down i got one because i still have one left over from last week we didn't go through them as much so i don't know why got two raspberries if you've been watching the central west i'm telling you if you see the central west oh my gosh they're they're Fantastic, fantastic. I did get a restaurant style guac and the pineapple poblano. I think I got the Southwest one last time and it's good, but I don't remember if I've tried this one before and it was on sale for Super Bowl and I got this for Super Bowl weekend for me. I'm the only one that eats it, so that's why a little one's fine because they have those big gigantic ones and they are cheaper than the little ones, believe it or not, but I didn't need that much. Got some chicken. I got a package of ground chicken for a um sausage cheesy pasta it's a paula dean recipe i've made before but it calls for ground chicken or i use it in replacement of what she does to like make the macros a little bit better and we love it we haven't had it on plan for a while so that is going next week i got this package of thin sliced chicken breast y'all haven't seen me buy chicken breast like this usually i get the frozen ones at sam's and i don't have much left of the sam's on hand and again quick easy dinner options this was so fire on the blackstone with that new kinder's sauce i got from sam's club if you watched last week's grocery haul we have been loving that so that's why i got a little small package just to have a filler if we need it because your girl hasn't been feeling like cooking i've been loving protein carb salad easy sides and being done with it and everybody's been loving it too so it's a win-win i got this bag of happy farms italian style i was gonna get the mozzarella but it was way more expensive than this and this is for the boys like homemade pizza lunchable so that's fine and then i got this cheese party tray one pounder for the price such a good deal versus sam's or walmart and this is for our super bowl weekend you get the pepper jack colby jack swiss and cheddar they also have one that has like gouda and some other one but it's only two and i I like this for variety a turkey pepperoni can y'all believe we have none on backup because i haven't been buying it the past couple weeks and we've been flying through it you got to pick one up when we go to aldi also some real bacon bits this is for our side salads and we are totally out i went through the last of them last night can y'all believe i'm buying more raisins i just bought this one pound four ounce or what two weeks ago the boys have flown through them they've been on a raisin kick so i got another container to go in our little thing that i put them in since they're home, I went ahead and got another one of the pitcher packs for drink. It's the lemonade one. We have the fruit punch on hand, but again, they're home. We're gonna need it. Y'all haven't seen me haul rice in, I don't think, forever. I finally went through that sister one or whatever from Sam's Club. I don't eat a lot. Y'all don't see us eat a lot of rice, but I wanted to have this in the cabinet and it was a really good deal at Aldi. So I got the five pound of the jasmine rice to go in the cabinet because now we are out and we're going to need the rice when we need the rice. If you've been watching for a hot second, we love these pita crackers and the garlic and chive. Oh, they are so good, y'all. If you've never tried them, they are fire. I'm going to get some spinach and artichoke dip. I wanted to get the one from Aldi. It was on sale too, like super cheap for Super Bowl and they were totally wiped out, of course. So I'm going to get the million dollar one at Walmart if they have it. And then the boys don't have any like loose snacky side chips, crackers that have prepackaged ones but I don't have any like Cheez-Its or anything on hand. So again, for next week, I got this family size of the white cheddar knockoff to Cheez-Its, 
such a great deal. I think the one at Walmart is like half the size, y'all, for almost the same price. It's crazy. Chippies, I got the baked barbecue. This is our favorite. I have one on hand from when I was buying a lot of stuff when we're doing our movie nights for Christmas. But again, we're doing two nights, so I wanted to have an extra one just in case. And then the restaurant style tortilla chips were on sale this week. And we have some on hand, but not a lot for their Taco Tuesday Lunchables and for a Super Bowl. So I went ahead and threw it in the cart. And then I saw this in the Isle of Shame. And if y'all know, if you've been watching, Waylon is obsessed with all things Pokemon. He can never get enough cards. Like, you know how much cards this boy has accumulated in his life? It is crazy. His birthday party is next weekend. So you're going to be seeing some stuff for their birthday party. You already have as well. And I wanted to get him just a little something. We don't get them like birthday presents per se because we spend so much on their birthday party. <laughs> but I wanted to get him a little something is what I'm saying. So I got him this variety right here. These were $12.99. I didn't think it was bad for three packs. And then I got this one. So I'm going to give this to him the day of his party. So that is everything we got for $120 at Walmart. No, Aldi. Walmart should be next, and I can't believe the total for what we're getting. A little Stay different from what you guys are used to seeing, but I have a little small Dollar Tree haul over here. We ran into Rouse's, it's Mardi Gras and Super Bowl, and then a $117 Walmart grocery pickup. I had no substitutions, but I am like PO'd about something, and I'm doing a return, and I'll explain why. The King's Hawaiian pretzel ham, I don't know if y'all can realize how smushed these are, like flat as a pancake these are, but they were underneath this big old bunch of bananas, this onion, and a couple other things. Like at the very bottom, I could not believe it. And these are almost $5. With the prices of things, guys, you have to. If they were normal prices, I'd be like, oh, it's fine. I'm not gonna bother with the return, you know? But being that these are $5 and now they are smushed the house, like you best believe I'm doing the return. Like I'm, I'm not that person, but I mean, you can't with these prices, right? And you want the best quality for what you're paying for. <sighs> I'm disappointed because I have never tried the pretzel buns. And I see my girl Kelsey on Instagram try these all the time. And the hubs and I are doing burgers for Saturday and Sunday for Super Bowl weekend. We're celebrating the whole weekend. But I guess we'll manage. But man, I wish they were floofy instead of smushed. Got some of the great value cinnamon raisin bagels. So many of y'all said that y'all have tried these versus some of the name brand and other store wins. And you're liking these better too. I'm telling you, there's just something different that hits with these they are so delicious those are for Trey and I for myself pre-workout snack you guys know chocolate rice cakes do the job with the banana so I got a bushel bunch of bananas to go with it I don't have any onions I went to go make a recipe last week and it calls for onions and I, I always have onions what is happening I didn't have any onions on hand that is for a recipe next week got the chocolate fair life for the boys they are out and I mentioned Waylon's obsessed with that for a dessert option right now they had some Walmart cash back for the Oikos product so I got I think 75 cents back if you bought two of the Oikos triple zero in the cup. So I got the lemon tart and the cherry. These are good, 90 calories and 15 grams of protein. I got these for myself. And then I also got another big container of the Oikos triple zero and the vanilla. I just like the Oikos better than the Aldi one. It's just thicker, creamier delicious so i'll pay the extra like 20 cents for it i guess i mentioned i couldn't get the spinach and artichoke dip from aldi i want to say we like that one better when i've compared this one and that one but they didn't have it so i got this one's really good too and we heat it up if you've never heated it up before and eaten it that way it's fire got a block of extra sharp cheddar cheese for that cheesy sausage pasta from paula Deen. i told you guys i don't know if i have it on hand but i can never not go through some sharp cheddar so it's not going to go bad and then one day next week we're going to be making those grilled cheese dogs that i featured on a fit mom blog and i have like one of these left the boys love hot dogs they've been eating them when they haven't been eating the dinners that the hubs and i have been eating so i got a oscar meyer bun length pack of those and then i got the french onion dip by great value you know the drill if we do movie nights or anything on the weekends we love having this with those baked barbecue chips so that's what that's for. Coming down here, I got some Crunch Pack Snackers. Now these are a million dollars. These are almost $3 a thing, which is crazy. They used to be like a dollar something back in the day. Like the times have changed. But the boys are home, I mentioned, and Waylon is all about the snack. An afternoon snack is like a big deal right now at eight years old, apparently. So I got these, I thought he might like them. The SpongeBob one has chocolate covered pretzels. He loves cheese sticks, string cheese, and it's got apples. 
So yeah, you could buy the stuff individually and it'd be, you know, cheaper, but he may not eat all this. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to try it out to see. And then I got this Minecraft one. He was all excited when he saw this one in my cart. It comes with apples, Cheez-Its, and sliced uh, or pieces of cheese. So I think he's going to like those. We shall see. For myself, I got two packages of the Oscar Mayer Carving Board Slow Cooked Ham. I love this in the air fryer. It is so good for a side breakfast option. And peep these macros for 60 calories and 11 grams of protein. Yes, y'all ask about sodium and stuff. Guys, if you're eating like everything prepackaged like this all day, every day, like lean cuisines and this and that, yes, your sodium's gonna add up. But if this is like one of the only things you're eating like this on the side of all the other freshness, it's fine. And if you're drinking your water like you should be, it's fine. Got some pantry things and some items for the boys' birthday party I mentioned. Y'all make sure that you watch the Fit Mom vlogs because I'm gonna show you how I'm making those little mini tackle boxes. I'm so excited for those. It's the little things, right? I got a box of regular Jello cheesecake pudding mix. The sugar-free one I'm finding when making my creamies, it is upsetting my tummy. A lot of the like fiber and the sugar-free stuff over time now here lately, I've noticed like messes with my gut. So I have to just do the real deal. And y'all, when you weigh this out by the gram, it is only one calorie more. The sugar-free seven grams is 25 calories and seven grams of the regular is 26 point something grams. It does not make a big difference is what I'm saying when you're doing that small of amount for the creamies and stuff. So to save my gut, yes, please. And the cheesecake, oh, it's so good. That M&M creamy, I need to share that. If you like wedding cake, that's what the base is. And then I add the M&Ms to it, fire. Great value chicken and a biscuit. We love chicken and a biscuits, and that's for Super Bowl weekend. I got something new. I've never tried this. Y'all let me know if you've tried this and you like it. It's the Hellman cilantro lime sauce. They have a lot of different sauces. Check the macros, but this one looked pretty good. So for one tablespoon, which is 15 grams, if you weigh out 15, 17 grams, it's substantial, guys. 40 calories. I got this to go on top of the Mahi Mahi I bought last week for a quick dinner. I thought that would be really good. And we're going to make those smash potatoes, drizzle some of this on there too. Mm, I think that's going to be delicious. Speaking of the Mahi, I got this Kinder's margarita with tequila agave and lime seasoning to try out on the fish they have the big one like this at sam's but i didn't want to commit to a big one if y'all don't want to commit to the big stuff at sam's almost everything same is carried at walmart i've been fine at least at mine anyway y'all let me know if you've tried this but i thought that would be delicious on the fish and then i got a can of hormel chili turkey uh with beans that is for the like velveta chili cheese dip we do all the time that's for super bowl weekend and these three items are for the boys birthday party so i got the family size of the m&m minis to go in the tackle box y'all like this is only half a bat like look at this look at this for the price that's popping up for this i mean outrageous the prices of candy and the prices of items Oh, struggles, but I use those in my creamies as well, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably need them all for the tackle boxes. And then I got two of the goldfish crackers in the pizza. That is Waylon's favorite, the extra blasted cheesy pizza one to go in the tackle boxes. Frozen items, I got a bag of the Orida Golden Crispy Crowns. If you've never tried the Crispy Crowns in the air fryer, uh, talk about hitting talk about slapping they're so good one of our favorites we love that better than a tater tot so if i can't find these i won't even get a tater tot because these are just so much better i was able to score the tyson nuggets of love for the boys for valentine's day and i mentioned that waylon's on an anti aldi chicken nugget kick i mean the boy he goes through stages he is the worst he is the worst as far as you thought trey was bad back in the day when he would only eat one thing because of his autism in his sensory no he will he is my best eater in the entire house Waylon, however <laughs> so we're gonna give these a go and see if they like those i thought those were cute and then for super bowl weekend for saturday night uh the boys are gonna have pepperoni pizza and also super bowl night pepperoni pizza we're having burgers like i mentioned both nights Waylon's a fan of burgers trey not so much but i know both of them like pizza so there's that got some frozen items over here i got a bag of the fine green beans to go on the side of our mahi i'm pretty sure four bags of the great value broccoli florets that is for me for a lunch option and for trey likes to have that with the pimento cheese i've mentioned for an easy dinner if he's not digging 
what we're eating this week. Got a 24 pack of the Pepsi Zero. I still cannot find the wild cherry anywhere. Like shortage, what is going on? What is happening, Pepsi, get with it. We're turning into Pepsi lovers over here. I know, what is our life? Don't come for us because in the comments, y'all were like, please no Coke lovers forever. We like both, but I like, I'm, we're liking even the hubs and the, the kids. Like they'll drink one of these occasionally. We like the Pepsi better, I know. And this was such a good deal for 24 cans, taking it. Got two of the two liters and the sun-kissed orange zero sugar. This is the hub's favorite. Literally him and I were fighting over the last of the little bit of a two liter last night. He's like, don't drink it all, that's all I have left. I was like, boy, I'm getting some more tomorrow. Calm yourself down. It's why you're gonna see this over here. But I got that because I can't get the 12 packs at Walmart. It's crazy, Walmart, they wanna ship you things for like $500. No, son, I will go into a regular store. So that is what we got for, what did I say? $117 at Walmart. And then at Rouse's, oh, what did we spend up at the Rouse's? $37.98 for four items. Holy hot tamale. We got the spicy California roll sushi. I've been craving some sushi, something fierce. I am in my sushi era. If you would have told me I would have liked sushi back in the day, I would have told you were cray. But now I crave it and I like it. And look, they had a couple of different varieties. I just got the spicy California roll. This is for tomorrow for me on Saturday night for like an appetizer before I have my burger. All right, I was, I was feeling it. I told you guys I was gonna go back for one of the specialty king cakes. Mardi Gras, when you're seeing this, is was yesterday. All right, we had Mardi Gras yesterday. I wanted to get the wedding cake when they didn't have it. <laughs> they had a strawberry white chocolate one in replacement that looked fire, but I was like, let me get this for the boys. This is not a hell yes for me, so I'm not even gonna try it. I'm gonna eat my nut butters all weekend and live my best life that way. Cookie dough king cake though is twenty dollars. They are filled. I mean, this thing is so, this thing is probably twenty pounds. It is so heavy, and they're gonna love that. So that's for the boys for the weekend and going into Mardi Gras the beginning of next week since they're home. And then they had drinks. They had Pepsi's two for ten. These were two for ten as well. They had zero zero Pepsi of any kind. It was white, and they don't ever have it. Even it's I can't even say it's white because I never even see it stocked ever at that particular Rouse's. But I did get the Sun Kiss Orange Zero Sugar in the 12 pack because the Hubs is obsessed. And then we like the A&W Cream Soda and it's kind of hard to find. So I went ahead and picked that up as well. So million dollar at Rouse's. And then Dollar Tree I went in because we're having our little like weekend. $13.75. That sounds much better, $1.25, I will tell you. They had all the like football Super Bowl stuff. So I said, let me go in and get some paper plates. And they had this, made it even better. So I got these little cups. You get how many in here? I don't know, four, no, six of these little cups for the boys to put little treats in for the weekend. For the king cake, girl's not making nothing sweet. I'm gonna be making a couple other things, but I'm just gonna stick these footballs all up in this king cake. Done, <laughs> done, you're welcome. You're welcome. You see we watch a lot of Moana in this house because of Trey. 48 counts of the green cutlery set to match everything. We got these boats. Y'all know I have the trays from Sam's, but aren't these cute? And you get six in there for $1.25. And then I got this runner, this table runner, that looks like football field to go on the island here for our spread. I thought that was super cute. And then they had these big massive football plates that were really awesome looking. Six plates for $1.25, so I got two of them. I needed one of these containers. I have one, the same one, but it's much taller. They didn't have those, they had these short fat ones instead. I've been cleaning, spring cleaning, organizing, decluttering, purging, and I have this in mind for the pantry I needed that for. They also had a ton of cereals. They had a bunch of like the Frankenberry ones, but they had one box of the Reese Puff Bats on the shelf for $1.25. Y'all know how expensive cereal is, and the boys are gonna be home. We do have some on hand, but this does not expire until July. Got that for them as a treat. And then these were in the checkout line. And y'all know Waylon is obsessed with Pokemon. So he had to have that for his Valentine stuff. I bought way back when for them from the Dollar Tree, speaking of. And then I got this Yoda, baby Yoda one for Trey. Catch my heart. How cute is that? Be mine. So that is everything we got at Dollar Tree. Rouse's Million Dollar and Walmart to fulfill this Super Bowl fun-filled weekend and Mardi Gras for us. So that's gonna do it for this week's grocery haul. If you love these, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Thank you, thank you for taking the second to do it. It means a lot. Thank you, thank you. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. Like I mentioned, I've got 
a house full of boys, even the dog is a boy, I am totally outnumbered, which means we need a lot of food and your girl eats a lot as well. So make sure you're following, hit that notification bell so you're notified every Wednesday when we upload a new grocery haul here. I hope you guys are having an awesome Valentine's Day. Whatever your heart wants to do today, I hope that you do it and enjoy the day. Thank you guys for spending some time with me on Valentine's Day. If you're watching it on Wednesday, it means a lot. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week and we will see you of course next week. Wednesday for another grocery haul. Make sure that your notification bell is clicked if you want to see those tackle boxes because they will be coming in a Fit Mom vlog soon. See you then. Bye y'all.